Hello! Uh, this video today would focus on virtual calls in cases of multiple inheritance. I would like to begin with saying that if you haven't finished the exercises yet, please do so before continuing with the video. The video would uh, include parts of uh, structures and also have some clues on how to uh, deal with the exercises that and relevant for the multiple inheritance uh, start creation and in order to get the best uh, out of this I think you would uh, it would be better to finish the exercises first so if you haven't done that please pause and then continue later um, during this part we would also uh, take the example that we saw in previous parts and we would analyze two virtual calls we would do static analysis of those virtual calls. Uh, and as you may um, understand is that because we have a multiple inheritance, there would be more than one vtable. This means that in each uh, virtual call, we would have to analyze the assembly to understand if what we're looking at is actually um, from which of the vtables uh, that the object has. So because we have more than one, the virtual calls would have to be from one of them and we will have to understand it first before understanding uh, the exact function that is used. So let's dive into uh, an example and that will actually make uh, the virtual calls of multiple inheritance much clearer. So in this case, we have the coffee table object again that you are familiar with from previous videos. And in this case, we would examine the assembly to understand the virtual calls. So first, what we would see is that the this pointer of the coffee table would be stored in a var 18. And we can rename this variable so it would be easier to work with the assembly. So this is what we did here. So we renamed this variable to be uh, this. And now we know that what we are looking at would be the uh, coffee table object. Also, what we can see is that we have uh, two virtual calls here. One of them is call rdx, and the second one is call rax. Um, we would examine first the call rdx to understand which vtable was used for this virtual call and in what offset to understand exactly what is the uh, optional function that was used in this case. So this is what we will focus on now. Uh, first, we would have to understand which of the vtables will be used. Um, so we can see that because um, we are using the first offset, so we will take the first vtable uh, from the object that is stored in offset zero, and then we will dereference again uh, and put a value in rdx, and this would be the exact a function that we want, also in offset zero. So it means we are taking the vtable in offset zero and the function in offset zero inside the vtable. So in order to understand exactly which function and which vtable it is, we would have to uh, analyze the object that uh, we created uh, in the constructor and to understand with it what is the exact function that used, was used for this virtual call. When we look at the coffee table object, we can see that in the first offset, we have the vtable and the object of uh, the furniture. So because coffee table inherits from furniture, uh, like we saw in previous uh, parts of this, of this class, um, we would have to examine the furniture object first to understand better about uh, what is the uh, exact function that was used in this case. So if we look at the furniture uh, object, we can see, of course, that the V table is in the uh, first offset in zero. Um, and we can look in the assembly to analyze the V table that was used and the exact function that was used in this case. So if we go to the assembly and we look in the constructors, we can uh, see that the uh, V table that was used for the coffee table with the uh, furniture um, base class is the print price. So it would be in the first offset of the V table. So for RDX, uh, in this case, we would have the coffee table print price uh, function. So the main part of uh, 
what we needed to understand for the uh, virtual code is uh, the V table. What is the V table that we're used for uh, this case? Another thing that we need to understand is what is the exact offset of the function. So this is uh, what we saw from the RDX uh, virtual call. And I will uh, stop here to give you the chance to uh, do the second virtual calls by yourself. So this virtual call is a uh, call RDX. And because you already analyzed the same uh, executable uh, in uh, the previous exercise, you can also go back to the same binary, uh, examine uh, what you have there, and see if you can analyze this virtual call by yourself. And after you finish, you can continue with the video, and then you would be able to uh, have some short walkthrough on uh, this virtual call analysis.